folks. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Whoever's doing well today, let's do a quick check on the old IG here. All right. All right, I'm going to do this. And here we go. Let me mute everybody. Yep. Okay. All right. Great to see everybody today. Thanks for tuning in. It's a little rainy out here, so I'm inside the studio today. We'll get this camera just set up just right. Um, so we're doing great on our, on our little fundraiser for the NAACP uh, Legal Defense and Educational Fund. I have the form right here, uh, all set to go, an old-fashioned stamp, stale ma snail mail style. And um, I've got the, uh, the form filled out. I've got my check filled out. All I need is the amount. So I'm going for $500. That'd be amazing. So we need to go 180 more. So if you know people or if you haven't contributed, then uh, please do so. It'd be awesome to get that up to 500 bucks. All right. That aside, let's get moving here. Uh, let me just make sure everything's gone. Yeah, I think we're going. All right. Good. Hope everyone's feeling good today. Gosh, this is always the wrong angle. All right, here we go. So let's spread out the feet just a little bit more than normal. Okay, so we're just about a shoulder width and a half. Take the arms here, cross, bring it in, breath in. And come down. And come down. And come down. Get a couple more like that while I push this button here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess we're going. All right, last one. Here we go. And down. Good job. Let's take the arms. Taking an easy swing. Going forward and back. Breathing. And swing the arms in opposition. There we go. Let's get this going. Nice job. Good. Stand up tall. Just go ahead and bring the knees up. Tap the opposite hand with that knee. Bring the knee up high, right? Going across the body, a little cross patterning work here. Something should have mastered as babies, but a lot of us need a little more view on this. Tap side, opposite side. We're breathing. Nice, good. Now bring it to the back. So the heel goes to butt, and give it a pull. And give it a pull. And give it a pull. And a pace. There we go. There we go. Let's take the cradle walk. Get that going. Ah. Yep. Yep. Nice pull each time. Get that knee up high. Nice stretch across the glute. Try to stay tall through the torso. So don't turn into this when I'm hunching down. Try to stay tall. Pull it towards you. If you can't get that knee very high, just lift it as high as you can without bringing the torso forward. All right? Little refinements in these warm up moves are important. Good job. All right. Let's take that into stiff leg deadlift. Take the leg, swing it back, arms go forward. Stretch. Balance changes day to day. Just kind of depends on the state of your nervous system. So if you're feeling like this is difficult, Make sure you hold on to something. Grab a chair. We want to make sure we're accomplishing what the exercise is out to do. Now, balance is part of it, but if balance overwhelms everything else, then you need to do something that's going to solve that for you. Right? So hold on to something to maintain the balance, and so you can get that stretch. Let's do this last one right here. All right, good. Let's take these shoulders in a nice big circle going back. Working our way up through the kinetic chain, going back, big circles, pulling those shoulder blades on the back. Going back, going back, let's go the other way. Good. 
Nice job, good. Out to the side, golf grip with the hand squeeze our shoulder blades. One of my favorites. Good, we can keep moving with the lower body as you do this, right? Messages coming in here. Keep it going, thumbs go forward. Squeeze those hands, now go back. Going backward, behind the plane of the body. Keep that lower back, not over arch straight. Good, let's take it into this guy, take it back, take it forward. Instagram is not cooperating today. Keep going with that, I will be right there. All right, here we go. All right, take it back. I don't know what is happening with this guy today. All right, I apologize everybody, just having a real uh, Instagram issue here. Canceling, adding. Yeah. Good. All right. Good. Leave it alone. Let's go left and right of the head. Gentle. Head goes down, ear toward the shoulder. And then forward and back. <coughs> that classic cough that happens when the head goes back. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. I need to get a <coughs> pulmonologist on my boot camp and they can explain why I cough every time the head goes back. Now take it in a circle. And then reverse. All right, good, nice job, good. Let's take it into a deep lunge here, all right? So let's go right leg forward, and we'll come into a deep lunge, hands on the ground. So here we go, come down, sit body down, left leg is straight, right leg is forward, this shin, front shin is vertical, take that right arm, bring it up in the air, and then bring that arm and bring it, just pass it behind your left hand. Then bring it up in the air, pull that shoulder blade on the back, and then down, and then repeat. Now let's say this is super uncomfortable, not possible for you. Here's what I want you to do. Grab a chair and elevate your hand. So if I've got a chair here, I can go this hand on the ground, and I'm lunging like this, right here, okay? Not everyone has this hip mobility to be able to get low on the ground. So you just work with what you have. You want to make every movement you do in this class look and feel athletic, right? If it doesn't, if you feel really awkward, you need to find a way to regress and make things easy. Good. Let's switch to the other side. Left leg forward, right leg back, okay? Sink down as low as you can. I've got this chair here to help me, right? And then I'm just going to bring the arm up in the air and then down. Up in the air and then down. If I can handle it, I'm going to go down here. The back leg is straight, right? But I'm not going to do this version if this leg is all over the place, if I'm in a lot of pain, if it's really, really difficult, right? So always regress when you need to. There's no problem with that. Or I should say pregress, not regress. Good. Leave that alone. Good. Come on up. Good. Let's get a little loose, loose here. Shoulders are loose. Body's loose. A little movement through the feet. Get a small sweat going here. Loosen up through the shoulders. Let's uh, do a little jump side to side, right? Just a little bit of lateral, small lateral bound, right? We'll get into the tough stuff in just a minute here. Good, again, loose. Good, let's go left foot forward. Let's throw a couple punches out there. Pop, pop, right? Pop, 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 pop. Throw on a hook. Pop, 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 yeah. Pop, 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 yep. Now you're going to lose elbows stay in, elbows stay in tight, right? It's not cartoon punching like this. It's elbows in tight like I'm in a narrow hallway, popping it out here like this. Bam, bam, right? Bam, bam, and hook. Nice and soft. Moving around a little bit to one direction and then the other direction. Yep, good. All right, let's throw a couple knees. Back knee comes up, good. Switch your legs, back knee comes up. 
Switch your legs back knee, comes up, keep going, switch, pull it, like you're striking, you're pulling a target, an opponent down, right? In this case, the opponent is in justice, right? <laughs> Sweating for justice, bam. Bam, a couple more. Going up. Good. Nice job. All right, 740. We're 10 minutes in. Good job, everybody. As always, if that's what you got. If you just want to join mobility today, guess what? You did it. Well done. If not, stick with me. Have a drink of water, and we'll get into the hard stuff. Here we go. All right. All right. So here we go. I'm going to start on the, uh, on the mat today. Little hip stuff and a little bit of core stuff, all right? Good to mix things up a little bit, mix up the order, so we're not always doing the same thing. So come on down onto all fours. Check this all four stance. Let's do first a couple of nice deep breaths in as you uh, arch up and then breathe out as you go the other way. Breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Arms stay straight here. We can do this. Breathe in. Round up. Breathe out. And arch. Repeat. And arch. All right. Good job. Let's start. Left leg. Left leg kicks back. Straight back. And we get on that horse. Kick it back. Get on the horse. As always, the foot in the back is toward the floor until I turn it to the side. Right? Until I turn it to the side, it's to the floor. Now, the other thing I'm not doing, I'm not bending this arm. I'm keeping this arm straight. Both arms are locked out. The movement is coming entirely from my hip, not from the upper body. Right. Good. Let's go the other way. So now the knee goes toward the chest. We go out to the side, kick it out, trace a big circle, and find that center line with the foot pointing toward the ground. We're mobilizing that hip. This is our classic. For people with knee issues, lower back issues, and generally everybody in the world, <laughs> this should really be a daily maintenance thing. Let's go to the other side. Mobilizing the hips. Let's go other leg back, get on the horse. Back, toe toward the ground, get on the horse. This should be daily. You only do a few reps of it, right? People are like, ah, I don't want to work out. Look, 10 minutes can get you so much. 10 minutes, joint mobility, Little bit of hip activation, little bit of core work. Man, that's 80% of the battle right there. Let's go knee to the chest and out to the side. If you're just talking function and feeling good and being able to move through your day, and you do that, you take a couple walks, you know, you're gonna do pretty well. You again better than 85, 90% of everybody else, right? Now this is my rougher hip. I have a harder time going out to the side, but I'm doing my best. All right, good. Let's take it on the back, do a little core step. So on the back, here we go. We're gonna do piston legs, okay? If you have a dumbbell, you feel strong, you can take that dumbbell and bring it overhead. Then take the knee, drive it to the chest, and alternate sides, alternating sides. Pull in that uh, knee real tight, all right? Let's keep going. We're gonna do a 30 second round here, starting now. Pull it in, breathing. Pull it in tight. Keep the knee toward the center line, right? You can always refine form, right? We're just getting more and more precise with the form, right? First time you do this, your knees might be all over the place. As you move along, think center line, toe toward the ceiling, slow back on the ground, dumbbell floating off the ground if you're holding a dumbbell, all right? And that's 30 seconds, good job. Good, let's take it back. Here we are, 90 degree, 45, so you can see me. And let's go, our standard flash dance move. So we got the left leg out, or the, uh, whichever side you want, 45 degrees, right? Not 90 here, not right behind me, 45 degrees, because that's the direction of the muscle fibers in that glute. My arms are gonna be straight out, up and down. 20 seconds here, here we go. Just up and down, get the glutes going. Straight up maintenance, right? The glutes, they tend to just forget what they have. I don't know what the problem is with glutes. I think we sit on them a lot, and so they forget how to do their job. Gluteal amnesia is a real thing. Up and down, almost there, good. There's 20 seconds, switch to the other side. 
45 degrees out with that other leg. 20 seconds here. Yeah. So every day you gotta, you gotta wake those suckers up. Say, here's what you do, guys. This is how you do it. You extend the hip. You don't do it. That hip extension comes from your lower back and your hamstrings. And that is the wrong people doing the wrong job. All right. So once again, back to the abs. This time, push up position, arms are straight. And let's do it like this. Let's go leg up, knee across. Other side, leg up, knee across. Leg up and across and up and across. Your pace, your intensity, right? If I want to make this easier, look, here I am. Right here, go across, go across. Now, what I don't want to do is turn it into this. If I'm going knees, I'm going to want, want to keep it stretched. I'm going to keep my hips down, right? So we don't want to reinforce bad form and bad usage on our movements. We want to keep it strong. We want to keep the mechanics excellent. Good. Keep going. Let's go 10 more seconds on this. Keep that stomach strong. Lift the leg high. Don't let the hips drive up as you work through this. There's three, two, one. Stop. Good job. Let's go back to our backs. One more little ab crusher here. So here we are on the backs. Let's do the famous open closed book. Now, as always, you can make this easier. Just bend your knees 90 degrees. Just tap them here like this. If you're feeling strong, keep them long. Lower back stays on the ground. Let's get a 40 second set here. Bring it in. Bring it in, nice and tight through the stomach. So we're starting in at the center of the body. And as, this, as the workout goes on, we're gonna spread it out to the more peripheral areas, right? So we got this whole power center, pelvis, the abdominals, warming that up, making that strong and powerful so that we can support the larger movements later on in the workout. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting in there. Keep that lower back on the ground. Insist, insist that that happen. Make the arms long, push up through the heels nice and strong. Here we go, we're getting into it now. And time, good job. All right, bounce on up, good work everybody. Grab yourself a drink of water. I'm just gonna write off Instagram, I don't know what their deal is. Not working today. So it's all about Zoom today. Good for you guys. All right. Drink of water. Okay. So we're going to work with a little bit of back work. A little bit of back work. All right. So last time we were playing around with a sit like deadlift walk, walk into, or sit like deadlift into uh, a bent row. So today it's going to be. Back to your old favorite. Wide stance, dumbbells here. So the row is in the middle. When I pull these dumbbells up from my row, I don't want to stop here. I want to turn just a little bit here. Not all the way, but here, 45 degrees, okay? That's just to help my lats activate a little bit more. So that's the row in the middle. And I come to one side, pull it up in the center, other side, and lower, right? So I got the lower body working and the upper body working. The adductors working, I got the lats working. Here's the set, let's do it. 30 seconds from now. I'm gonna get my mat out here because it's, my feet are slippy. All right, so middle, side, middle, side, middle, side, middle, side. Let's keep going, keep working it. So we got compound movement, right? We got the legs working and the upper body, right? Now, try not to come up in the middle. We want to keep that low, that body a bit forward in the middle, and we're just shifting left and right. And then we'll be a little bit up and down. That's okay. But what you don't want to do is turn into this, right? Don't come up, make it a, a shoulder shrug. Good job. We're almost there. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Stop. Good job. Okay. Here's our next move. We're gonna work with a squat variation into a dynamic lunge. Squat into dynamic lunge. So it looks like this. We take a squat and we're gonna double it, okay? So we're gonna go squat, squat, and we're gonna step one foot forward, dynamic lunge, back, 
Other side, dynamic lunge. Notice when I step with my lunges, I'm stepping a little bit across. We have a little bit of di diagonal action here. Let's go. Double squat. Lunge. And lunge. Back to center. Double squat. Step it across. Take to a lunge. Take to a lunge. Oh, yeah. That's happening. Double squat. Lunge. And lunge. All right. So, as always, how do I make this easier? How do I make it easier? Make it a half squat. Make it a half lunge. Make it a half lunge. How do I make it harder? Take a little slower down on that squat, then push up fast. Down slow, up fast. Same on this lunge. Down slow, up fast. Down slow, up fast. Okay? Or you just speed demon it and go as fast as you can. All right? Good. Let's stop right there. Well done. Good. Let's grab our dumbbells. And I want to see a hammer curl now. Now, hammer curl is hands parallel, like you're swinging a hammer. Okay, very simple. I'm nice and tall, and let's go together, right? All together, ready, set, go. So we're not alternating, we're just working our column strength with the body, right? The center, our center column is tall and strong here, yeah? So what I don't want is, ugh, right, this kind of thing, yeah? Not a whole lot going on there. I wanna resist that up-down movement, I wanna get right into those biceps, squeeze it, and go for it. That's our move. Let's keep going 10 more seconds. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. If you feel it, you can add a little extra squeeze at the top like that. Half. Okay? Good job. That's it for that one. Well done. Good. Let's go to the first move, which was our uh, lateral movement with the row in the center. So, please get our feet. Nice wide stance. Take it over to one side. Dumbbells come down. Come up. Squeeze in the middle and down. Squeeze in the middle and down. Squeeze in the middle and down. This is set number two. So the hips, even I'm feeling this, the hips should be starting to feel a little better right now. And as you'll feel, if the hips are mobile, then I can get a little further down and I can really lock in that uh, torso position, right? So I'm not going up, down, up, down, right? Now, what if I can't achieve that? I'm gonna bend my legs a little bit more. I'm gonna pull it in. I just really wanna lock in that torso position as much as I can. Good, let's keep going. Gonna be five more seconds. All right, and we're gonna go back to our lunge. Good, stop, all right. Squat, squat, lunge, lunge. Oh boy, we're being mean here. So here we go. Three, two, one, squat, squat, take a cross, lunge, back to neutral, lunge. There we go, let's do it. Squat, squat lunge and lunge. So if you want to bust this out, squat, squat, lunge, lunge, then that's cool. Squat, squat, lunge, lunge, yeah? So you do your version, right? The, the, the idea is at the end of each set, you're really feeling it. You're really getting work here, right? The idea is not to cheat it and go, oh, I'm just going to work at this leisurely pace. You work at the pace it gets you where you need to go by the end of the set. So you're really working. It's burning. Okay? We want that. That burn is actually good. All right. We're getting there. Five seconds to go. Five seconds to go back to hammer curl. All right. Three, two, one, stop. Good job. Grab dumbbells. We got our dumbbells. We're nice and tall. We got our feet parallel. We got that nice column of power there, right? So we got our chest tall, right? Not exaggerated. Chest is tall. Head is in a nice position. We're working posture on this. Three, two, one, let's go. Hammer curl. So we're working our column posture while we're getting into our biceps, right? So this is a big principle of like the way I like to work, right? If we're working biceps, it doesn't mean we forget about the feet. If we're working shoulders, it doesn't mean we forget about the neck, right? We want everything to build proprioception and build use head to toe, right? So I'm not just working my biceps, I'm working everything. I'm working awareness of the whole organism. Because it's all one thing, right? Your biceps are going to be weaker anyway if, you're, if your posture sucks. All right, good. Leave that alone. You're into that little lesson. Let's go left and right one more time with the row. So find yourself a nice wide stance here. 
Legs are soft at the knees. Let's start. Here we go. One side, pull it, squeeze it. Other side, pull it and squeeze. Other side, pull it and squeeze. Think about the muscles below the armpits, not the muscles here, below the armpits. Pull that back. And bring those shoulder blades back and over. That's the move, all right? If you have to take a break, if you go, if you find your form falling apart and you're like, I'm getting my shoulders, it's like the hunchback. Stand up, take a break, take a breath, and then get back to it with good form. Again, everything wants to look good. You want, thing, want things to look athletic and feel athletic and smooth. If it doesn't, you're off base. Good, stop right there. Squat, squat, lunge, lunge, here we go. Squat, squat, lunge, lunge. So, has it been easy the last couple of sets? If so, make it harder, go faster, do more. Ready? Three, two, we know 45 seconds here. Come down and across. And across. Good. Let's go. Down. Down. Across. And across. Now, if you need to, you can elevate your heels on something in the squat. That's cool. That works. It's just a little bit awkward because sometimes it's hard to step right back onto it if necessary. But if you need it, take it, right? You do want to keep the feet flat, right? Don't turn into this where the heels are coming up. All right, 14 seconds to go. We're getting there. Last set, best set. Take it down. Go fast. Kill it, right? Really lean into it. Do well. Good form. Maximum good form effort here. Three, two, one. Stop. Good job. Come to standing. Grab your doubles. Let's get those nice hammer curls going here. Nice tall posture. Feet parallel. Shoulders centrated. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go together. You want to add a little juice at the top? You can. There's a little juice. Squeeze the lemon at the top. Bang, bang. There we go. Stay tall. Shoulders are down. Elbows are close to your sides. Keep going. Let's make this work. We get the biceps. We got the lats. We got the adductors. We got the entire lower body just in this sequence, just in these three things together. How are we doing on time? 7.57, 13, 13 minutes to go. Let's keep going. Five seconds on this. Lean in if you haven't already. Lean in. Just go for it. Pop it. Best form you can. And time. Well done. Good job, everybody. That's nine sets without a break. You killed it. Grab a drink of water. Whew. This is good. This is very good. We're sweating, we're moving. It's not only, it's, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning. You guys are doing great. Great way to start the day. All right, so let's do our second sequence here. Um, I wanna work just the stiff leg deadlift. I'm gonna take the bent row out of it. I want to work stiff leg deadlift because I think that's a great hamstring move. That's gonna be our first move here. So what we need is a pair of dumbbells. Now, Let's say you don't have dumbbells. That's cool. I, you, you don't really need them. If you have a band, you can do this with a band. Put the band underneath your feet and hold on to the sides of the dumbbell. Now, all we're going to do, it's going to be a simple forward bend here. But as always, there's complications. So, as I was saying last time, we want to send the hips back. We want to think of this as a butt moves back movement, not a upper body moves, leans forward. You see the difference there? This is the upper body lean forward. This is the butt moving back. Version A, not good. Version B, good, okay? So we wanna have our knees slightly bent when we do this, and we wanna deep stretch in the hamstrings at the bottom of the movement. So here, stretch it, and come up. Now, I wanna keep my back long. I don't wanna round over, that's the other thing. I want the entire movement to happen right at my hip joint, right? I wanna keep the back neutral. The, the, the dumbbells are going to stay close to my legs the whole time. Dumbbells stay close. See that? It's not out here, way out here like this. So butt goes back. I form a triangle between my butt, my shoulders, and my feet. That's a triangle. It's not like a square out here like this. I hope I made that clear. Good job. Let's keep going. Five more seconds. Dial in the form. Really get that deep stretch in the hamstrings at the bottom of the movement. Let's say this as far as you can go without breaking form. That's as far as you go Good, stop there. Well done. Good job. Okay, let's keep our dumbbells. We're gonna go with a lateral raise. Now, as I said before, if your dumbbells are too heavy to do a lateral raise with good form, then what I wanna see 
is an overhead press, okay? So there's the move. I know I'm running out of time. I know Zoom. All right, so we're going out to the side of those dumbbells, arms slightly bent, thumbs down relative to pinkies, and we're just doing that. Simple, right? We're not doing too complicated, it's gonna be complicated in just a second. Out to the side. I am not shrugging my shoulders. I am keeping long. I want a long line between my two hands. Nice and long. And I want to turn those dumbbells slightly over so I get not just the, uh, not just the front side of the deltoid, but the posterior as well. Let's keep going 10 seconds on this. Out to the side. This is a tough one. This is a real isolator here. Out to the side. Out to the side. Three, two, one. All right, good. We're going to go with a little mini cardio here, okay? Mini cardio is, mini cardio is gonna be just a, a high knee, okay? High knee run. We're gonna go kind of quick on this. Three levels, easy, medium, hard, okay? So you stick with whatever level you can hang with, uh, depending on how you're doing today. So let's go, let's go knees high. 10 seconds, 10 seconds of easy. And easy doesn't mean, oh, just down here like this. Bring the knees high. Bring the knees high, which just means speed. Now we're going a little faster, a little higher, right? Bounce off that ground. We need this reactive ability. People think, ah, I can't move fast. I'm over 20, okay? Now let's go fast, nine seconds, fast as you can. We're running away from the dragon. All right, quick, quick, quick. How fast can we go? And time, well done. Good, we got the heart rate up. Let's go back to our stiff leg deadlift. Um, stiff leg deadlift. So we're holding on to it. The dumbbells, if you don't have dumbbells, you can do the Sam's dumbbells. You can still get a really deep stretch in the hamstrings even without them. So here we go. I'm gonna do it without dumbbells this time. Come down, butt goes back, hands stay close to the legs. Come down. Different story, right, when the heart rate's up, yeah? Take it down. Take it down, deep stretch, come up. Deep stretch. I'm not just bending over and rounding. Back is long, chest is proud. Folding right here. I might just only be able to get here. That's okay. We want that deep stretch. We want the head in a nice alignment relative to the chest. So we're practicing this alignment with the body, with the torso. Right? Good. That's enough on that one. Well done. Good. Lateral raise, okay? Lateral raise or overhead press, depending on your dumbbells, or the way your dumbbells. If you have no dumbbells, guess what? We can do it with that too. Let's start. Arms out to the side. If I don't have dumbbells, I'm gonna do little small up and downers here. It's kind of like our, um, our warm up with the circles, okay? But I've got, so I've got the hands in that same golf grip. My thumb is gonna go a little bit down. I'm just gonna go up and down. Little movement, squeezing my shoulder blades together, little movement like I'm taking off. And if I go quick on that, arms are straight, I'm gonna get into those deltoids just as if I had dumbbells, right? It's a little better to have dumbbells, especially for you people who've done this a little while, but if you don't, just this little waving up and down thing is really good. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, so I'm really into getting into these, these guys here. I'm not taking it here, right? I said that a lot, but what, what, the last thing we need <laughs> is extra movement in our traps. Keep the arms long, locked out the elbows. Keep going. Let's go five more seconds. Feeling this. Good, and time, nice job. Okay, here we go. Back to our famous high knees, okay? Yes, it's the high knees. I'm going on time. Six minutes, all right, here we go. So let's start, three, two, one. Drive it up, this is easy, right? And if you're just not feeling it, if you're like, ah, this is all I can do, just stick with this face for 30 seconds, okay? Modify as needed. Good, let's go a little faster. Those of you that are feeling that, pump the arms. Knees are up high. Good, and let's go bust it out. A little extra cardio here. A little extra cardio. A little push, come on. What do we got? All right, good job. Last round, here we go. 30, 30, 30, all right. Grab your dumbbells. Stiff leg deadlift, here we go. Ready, three, two, one. Stretch it, and come up. 
stretch. Your pace, right? Come on, stretch. Should feel good to stretch those hamstrings out. Really want to keep this in the hammies, keeping that back longer. That's really important. Hinge at the hips, at the hips, not at the torso. The torso stays long. Here we go, we're getting there. There's our time, good job. Take it to the front, deep breath. Let's get our lateral raise, here we go. I'm gonna do a 30 second set here. Arms are long. I'm pouring tea at the top of the group. Just pouring tea. I'm not really inverting really hard, but I'm not doing this, thumbs up. I'm doing pouring tea so the thumb side is a little bit lower than the pinky side. Keep going. Try not to rest at the bottom. Try to keep it going right there. Arms are long. Don't bend the arms. Keep the arms long. Good. Three, two, one. A time. Good job. All right. We know what's coming. High knees. Here we go. Last one. Last one. And then we stretch. It's 806. Okay. Here we go. Starting in five seconds. Shake it out just for a moment. It's the last hard thing. Ready? Set. Go. Now, you want to attack this. You've got a lot left. Go ahead and burn it out. Do your set a little faster with a little more. Now, if you don't feel like you got it, pump your arms a little harder. That will make your legs go faster too. Good. Let's go to medium speed. If you're not there already, pump the arms. Pump the arm, bust off the ground. Pump them, that'll move your feet faster, I promise. Good, let's go fast, come on. Fastest, fastest we can do, come on. And time, that's it. Good job, folks, grab your water. Oh my lord, this is an off day for me. I'm not supposed to work out today, but I get inspired when I see people jumping in. Patrizia, Heidi Rose. My parents. <laughs> Hi guys. All right. All right. Here we go. 807. Good job, everybody. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a, a table dog, which I'll show you. My lovely wife's desk. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn to the table. You can do a chair if you want. You can do a kitchen counter. Anything. It's kind of somewhere between this and this height. You can even do it on a wall if you need to. Hands are flat. Walk the feet back. Now look at your feet. Make sure they're parallel and shoulder width. On a deep breath out, drop the chest down to the ground. I'm long through my torso. I'm long out through my tailbone. Deep breaths. Suppose I can't get, the, get this low. That's okay. What I don't want to do is a whole lot of compensation. Suppose that, you know, this is as far as I can go. That's okay. Don't round it. Keep it flat. Okay? Don't um, bend your knees too much. Keep them long, but not locked out. Breath out. Bring chest down to the ground. Hold on to that. All right, slowly come out of that one. That's nice. Let us grab a famous, our famous strap or belt, whatever you have, for our last stretch of the day. Take it right here, palms down, bring the arms overhead. And there we go for a nice chest stretch, the interior stretch of that whole front side, rotate a little bit. Ah. Good job, it's a good one today. I appreciate you guys being here. So again, check's going to go off to NAACP, Legal Defense and Educational Fund tomorrow. So tell your friends. And thank you very much for people who have participated and contributed. And if you want to contribute yourself and you want to get the tax donation, just let me know that you sent some money in and we'll, 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 uh, we'll throw that in. We'll say that that counts. All right? I'm going to take the arms slowly down. Ah, good times. All right, folks. That's going to be it for today. Thanks very much. I appreciate everyone being here, working hard, doing good things for themselves on a Friday. Have a good Friday. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. 
Uh, and we'll get some more people in here and we'll get over that $500 limit for the end.